this video, we will continue with the cosecant, secant, and cotangent groups. You will find this on page 438 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Just going to make it a bit bigger. Then we will look at the example. Okay. Sketch the function y equals cot x for the interval 0. x is bigger than or equal to 0 and smaller than or equal to 2 pi. Okay. The function y equals tan x is 0. Okay. So if you draw that lightly, where is it 0? Now I think I left out 1 there because it's there 0, there 0 and there 0. Okay. So I should have also, and I will do it in the reprint, so x when it's 0, when it's pi, and when it's 2 pi. This means that y sub cot is not defined at each of these points because you cannot get division um, by 0. Hence, vesicle asymptotes need to be drawn at each of these points. Okay. Uh, can I just explain this, this to you? Remember that, okay, so basically... If, if this, where it's 0, okay, it was actually 0 over 1, and that was fine, and then the answer would have been 0. But if you take the reciprocal and you turn it around, okay, then it will, because this, the, the, um, the cot is the reciprocal, then it's 1 over 0, and that's not allowed, and that's the reason why this asymptote. So there's basically 1, there's 1, because I'm turning it around, and there's one. Okay. Okay. So, inch vertical asymptotes need to be drawn at each of these points. Now, lightly draw the tangent graph. Now, remember the tangent. It's actually there at, can I just show you? It's here at pi over 2. Can you remember that? And then this will be, um, this is 1, so it's 1 and a half. So, it's 3 over 2 pi. So, it's like it's there. And it's there. Okay. Okay. So that was the normal one. So draw the vertical as through its zeros. But now I just I just want to draw the normal one to help you. First two. And then the red. There's the new asymptotes. Now one cycle occurs between um, zero and pi. So between zero and pi. So it's striving to that, striving to that, striving to that, striving to that. Okay. And that is the basic shape of the y equals cot x. Okay. There are uh, vertical asymptotes at each of the cycles. So, so it means there, there, and there. The asymptotes that occur at pi repeats every. So every pi, every pi, every pi, it will repeat. The graphs of y and y lie in opposite. You see, this one goes up, then this one goes down. Then this one is um, up, up, and then this one is down, down. Okay, so take note of that. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now too. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's look at number two. First, we're going to draw the axis. And let's just go a little bit lower. Okay, then it's going to be zero, and then this one, okay, is going to be pi over, okay, let's just do it, oh, every four. Okay, so this is pi, this is two pi. This is pi over two, and this is three pi over two. Now, don't forget, first I'm going to make a light sketch of the one, and let me just show you quickly. It's y equals um, tan 2x. Now, can you recall from chapter 4, what happened if it's 2x? It just means it's going to make two, it's going to make two repetitions in, in 0 to 2 pi. So, the whole thing is going to be completed in pi, and then the whole graph, this whole graph is going to be completed into, into pi and 2 pi. Okay. So basically, if I start drawing it, it's going to be a take a little bit. I'm just going to keep my green. But this is now the asymptote. And then it's going to be like this. Let's go in there. Okay. 
Let me just quickly, I forgot to write in here for you. I make this one and make this negative one. Okay, so this one is going to be like this, and then it's going to be this, and this one is going to be then, remember, at, at the bar, it will need to do this. Okay, so there is the complete. Can you see? Now it's repeating this one. So this one is going to be like this. And then I'm starting again. And this one um, is going to be here. And then this one, the last one, is just going to be like this. Okay, there. So do you see that this is this two of them? That's the normal y equals tan 2x. Now, where is it then zero? Oh, a lot of points. Um, let me just mark it for you. It's zero there. Okay. Don't forget, it's, oh, sorry. It's zero there. And then it's zero there. And then it's zero there. And then it's also zero there. So in this case, it's every, instead of pi, it's every pi over two, do you see? So you can see every two blocks. Okay, otherwise if it's three, you made a mistake somewhere. Okay, now I must remember it's in the opposite direction. So let's start with my yellow. I'm now doing y is equal to cot 2, cot 2x. Okay, and then it's going to be here. And instead of there, okay, and remember it's almost like the opposite, do you see? So again, and again, that's not so nice. Remember, it must cut there, and then you can do the curve. And it must not touch the, the asymptotes, striving to that. There it is. Okay, excellent. And that. So, so just remember, always just first draw the normal one. And then from the normal one, you can start um, with this one. And then this is how you're going to sketch it between 0 and 2 points.